Mom and I are going shopping for my wedding gifts. We'll get auspicious things for my engagement ceremony. I'll tell you funny items that we need for this tradition. And on the special day, my fiancé sends all the gifts over to my home. Stay till the end for a special luncheon with a big bowl of luxurious soup. I'll tell you what all this means later. What are we going to do today? We're going to buy, buy uh, uh, Kota Laisa. Kota Laisa, what is that? <laughs> well, we're doing one. It's a formal meeting between two families and symbolizes the groom's sincerity. So we're back at Chinatown to prepare some of the things that's needed for this ceremony. So where are we going, Mommy? We're going to Hoi Mei Pao. Mm-hmm. It's right at the back. Let's go. We'll be getting some dried seafood and other auspicious things. Fiance's family is supposed to come and get all these gifts because they don't have the experience and my mother did. My sister just got married last year so we're doing it instead. Uncle says that it doesn't matter who comes, whoever is free, whoever has the knowledge can come and get it because couple do things together. How sweet. The first auspicious food is lotus seeds or linzi. It's a symbol of fertility, but it has to be whole and red. White is worn at funerals, so mom was not pleased when I wore a white dress on the engagement day. We got another red item, red dates or hongzhou and dried tangerines, gut bang, both for good luck. Did my grandmother bought all the same things for you? Chicken? Live chicken? You want live chicken and put in our garden? He mentioned all the luxurious seafood like abalone, oyster, scallops. What is fat You have to explain to other people. They don't know. Uh, uh, oh, My favorite is hosi, which sounds like good things, and dried shiitake mushrooms, which represents longevity. Another highly valued seafood is sea cucumber. One kilo is two thousand. This is a thousand five. If you'd like to know more about Malaysian food culture, remember to subscribe and click the like button below. We've got two free gifts, a sticker and a red bag. Is Dawi important? This is like gum important? Yes. This is important. Why? Like, like, oh, the. Yum, totally, yum, so big, and then we need a lot of food, a lot of money to raise you. <laughs> She's right about that. Super delicious. Uncle, like, gum, you? Do you have any questions about Malaysian Chinese wedding customs? Drop your question at the comment box below. Now that we're done shopping, it's time to get some snacks at Chinatown. Mommy, what's at the back there? The Lala, please. Oh. Check out this video for Lala. Check out the Lala noodle video. Check out the Lala Lala YouTube. <laughs>
This time, I treat my mom to something cold that she hasn't tried before. Mommy, have you heard of Pandan Republic? Mm, no. <laughs> this cafe is named after screw pine leaves and is popular for its pandan soft serve. want to know the best food to eat at Chinatown, check out my previous video where I ate plenty of food including this special dish. Sweet! A nice! Sweet, concentrated and refreshing. The groom would also need to provide some special biscuits. What do we need to get? Biscuit. What biscuit? Garlic thing. We are here to order wedding biscuits called Galu Bang or Lai Bang. What is it? Double happiness. These two words joined together is eight. All the biscuits, you can see this. Who are you going to give these biscuits to? Why? Uh, my daughter is getting married. This red bean and lotus cake with two hay or happiness is exclusive for weddings. We need to get bedding for the groom. Why do we need to get red bed sheets? Getting married must have the red one instead of the dark hand. The bride's family also need to prepare some gifts for the groom. One of them is red beddings. Oh. Can it be white? Uh, Can it be blue? Only red? Which one is going to be the color? Oh, pink. Uh, pink only. Uh. Oh, me, pink cannot. Pink. Pink also cannot. Pink also cannot. Pink also cannot. Finally, we found something we both like. It's a two-sided red and pink bed sheet. Do you want me to buy this? <laughs> you got the one already. You can add this one in. Okay, why not? <laughs> she really wants red. We are here at the market to order some auspicious food stuff to give to the groom's family. The market is this the whole food? This one is the uh, red market, unique market. <laughs> We're at the market ordering lotus root, but my mom wants local lotus root. She's quite particular about this. Dimau yang? Kau dimau kipan oil lingau ga? You're like carrying a baby. <laughs> Why do you have to keep this lotus root in water? Because fresh. Keep this way, it will be fresh. If not, the one will be wrinkled everywhere. Next, we need to order some cakes. Oh, it's very hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. While my mother was busy looking for auspicious food for the wedding, I was busy looking for delicious food for breakfast. Samba ikan bilis, yang tu? Kerang. The marinated chickens are inside, and then they fry it over here fresh. <laughs> After chit chatting with this friendly seller about her easy sambal ingredients, I bought a packet of nasi lemak sotong. This is one of the best Malaysian breakfasts and I'm so glad to have accidentally discovered this new store. Okay. 
Then we're gonna get a fruit that represents fertility. When my mom told me to get sack lau, I was like, what? To me, sack lau is the character in Stephen Chow's comedy called Thirteen Scholar, but actually it is pomegranate in Cantonese. The many seeds inside symbolizes many children. Why do we need to get this sack lau? We also need to get a specific brand of orange juice. It's so funny, I'll tell you in a minute. We are here to get some double happiness stickers to stick around the house. You want this? You think it's nice? The designs here are a bit gaudy, but I have no choice. After getting the decor, next we're gonna pluck something from the tree. I don't know why we need to get some pine leaves over there from my neighbor. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Can see. Thank you, Auntie, for your pine leaves. Mommy, what is this for? This is to ward off evil. I'm just following tradition, yeah. what my sister was told to do. Now we're doing, but we don't really know why. Not my mommy. I found out that five different seeds means bountiful harvest for the couple. Why do we need the beans? <laughs> I mean, why are we doing things that we don't know? And we need to put in cash in every pocket. Pens or fu in Cantonese sounds like the saying, Tai Fu Tai Kui. So it symbolizes prosperity. What's the meaning of this? Sweet. <laughs> what? <laughs> because it says fanta. What, what is fanta? <laughs> Can we get something else? Can we get other brand? Okay, now maybe. But this is sounds nice. Fanta. <laughs> Chinese custom is quite practical. A lot of emphasis is placed on prosperity so that the groom is able to financially care for the bride. The day has arrived. My mother woke up early in the morning to get the cakes that she ordered from the market. What are those? Uncle, what's gold? Yes, Uncle Kui is shaped like a tortoise to represent longevity and this pink steam cake called Fatko represents prosperity. These are the things that we need to prepare for the group. We've got lotus root, orange juice, pomegranate here. This is ampao, some beans, five different beans, a pair of pans, and more bread packets. Oh, pine leaves as well. My mother then gave me some advice for a happy marriage. Finally, my fiancé's family is here bearing gifts. Besides all the things from the dried seafood store, there is also tea, wine, apples, oranges, and a special biscuit. <laughs> Yeah, number unboxing. This is unboxing. Oh. 
And so the unboxing is complete. Here we have. I don't know why I saw this. Just a lot of things. Happy, ah? <laughs> yeah, you know what this means? The lotus root of children. <laughs> I return half of the gifts. As we receive, we must also return. This is a sign of goodwill and reciprocation. After exchanging auspicious gifts, the ceremony is done. We're heading to the restaurant now. What? So it's time for lunch. That's the place that I took you to have cha siu. One is called the mall. It's highly recommended by my fiance's father. Oh, Mommy, what is that inside? <laughs> wow. We are here to celebrate with a seven course meal and it will start with this luxurious chicken jump over the wall soup. There's a whole chicken inside, there's ginseng, there's fish, there's scallops, a lot of luxurious stuff. Buddha jump over the wall is a kind of shark's fin soup, but this is an alternative created by the restaurant. This delicacy has no shark's fin inside. Instead, it has a lot of ingredients regarded to be luxurious such as scallops, oyster, fish maw, abalone. It also has potent Chinese herbs like ginseng and goji berries. Many of us did not know the existence of this rare and highly prized catfish. It's so smooth that it slide off my spoon. Uh, wow. uh, How is it a Look at that! This is huge! Look at that! 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 Look at the next course is sesame coated pork ribs, but there's plenty of other different ingredients inside that we were trying to figure out. This is one of the more unique stir fry vegetables I've eaten. I really like the crispy taro. <laughs> The sticky rice is topped with preserved liver, yun cheong, and sausage, lap cheong. You can find eggs and char stew inside as well. Lastly is a refreshing and nutritious dessert and probably my favourite of all. This is made with a lot of longan and snow fungus. Both are known to be good for the skin. I love it when a dessert is not only yummy but good for health. Is it like the Pedaling Street one? It was stronger smell. Stronger than Pedaling Street. This is such a wonderful day and a fabulous meal. Check out this playlist for more Malaysian food.
What is that? This is a picture of Tommy. Hey. Cringe. 